Hey everybody, Vestmore here, and today we're talking Anthem. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at a fairly potent build for the Interceptor that utilizes the absolutely insane mobility of the Javelin to clear packs of enemies, while also at the same time setting up combo opportunities for your teammates. We recently put up an awesome build for the Colossus, which you guys said you enjoyed, so I figured I'd show you the Interceptor build I was using during the VIP demo. If you were planning on jumping into the open demo this weekend and wanted to take the Interceptor for a spin, then this is the video for you. Just in case it's your first time hearing from me, I'm a part of the Arix Gaming team and I've been helping to bring you guys awesome video content alongside Arix and Taylor. If you enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Also, just a quick heads up that there's still time to enter into our giveaway for a Super Smash Bros. Limited Edition Nintendo Switch. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to check that out in the description box down below. Jumping right to it, in the Assault System slot, you will find the first ability this build utilizes. It's in my opinion one of Interceptor's better primer options, the Venom Bomb. In order to set yourself up for success with this build, you need an ability that is capable of priming as many enemies as possible, which is something the Interceptor is lacking in. However, Venom Bomb is a versatile choice that allows you to tag small groups of enemies from a distance as you approach, debuffing them with acid and doing a small amount of damage over time, making it a perfect choice for this build over something like Cryoglave, which is a single target primer. Once you've primed your target, you're ready to close the distance and use your strike system ability. In this case, Tempest Strike. This is a swift roundhouse kick that deals a decent amount of damage to a target, while also having the added bonus of looking pretty cool. More importantly though, Tempest Strike is a detonator, meaning you can use it to detonate primed enemies in order to gain an elemental aura. Tempest Strike is a great option because, even though it technically only hits one target within melee range, you can use it in the air above a primed group of enemies in order to do a falling axe kick, which makes it much easier to hit primed enemies due to attacking from above. Another great feature of Tempest Strike is that it doesn't go on cooldown until the attack animation ends, meaning if you use it in the air to do the falling axe kick, but then realize you're going to miss the mark, you can safely cancel the ability using a jump in order to reposition without wasting it. This allows for incredible flexibility when positioning, allowing you to get behind shielded enemies like Sky Enforcers with ease. So now that you've got the two main abilities you're going to be using in this build, the general game plan is as follows. Find and prime a pack of enemies using Venom Bomb, or have a teammate prime them for you. Then, jump above them and use Tempest Strike to detonate, securing a combo. As mentioned in our Anthem Elements Explained video, acid debuffed enemies take more damage, so assuming you primed them using Venom Bomb, your Tempest Strike should deal a good amount. Once you're on the ground, it's time to get chopping. Your melee attack is also a detonator, meaning you can keep your acid aura going as you cleave through the pack of enemies. Once they're down, you can then use your incredible speed to quickly dash to another pack of enemies. If your aura is still up, this will spread the acid debuff to the new pack of enemies, allowing your teammates to easily pick them off with detonators and gunfire. The only issue I've found with this build personally is that you have to do a little bit of extra work in order to affect shielded enemies, as they can't be primed as long as their blue shield bar is present. Between the support system options, I found that Target Beacon was the better choice in the demo, as it lowers the resistances of any enemy you attach it to. However, assuming elemental debuffs become a problem for your team, Rally Cry is also a viable option. As for weapons, you can run whatever you want. I personally was quite fond of the Devastator Sniper Rifle and a Heavy Pistol, but a Shotgun or a Machine Pistol might work better if you decide to spend all your time in close quarters. So there you have it. Prime enemies with Venom Bomb, detonate with Aerial Tempest Strike, and then spread the love using your aura empowered melee attacks. Rinse and repeat. Be sure to stay tuned as we'll have plenty of in-depth build guides that utilize every aspect of a max level javelin once the game launches, but for now, that's all. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoy this build once the open demo goes live this weekend, and also let me know if you'd like to see more build videos like this one. This is Vest, signing off. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.